Welcome back to the Hands of Me channel. Today, we're in beautiful upstate, which is so nice. It's the best vacation place I ever would be. And there was a hurricane that came by relatively recently. When I was sometime, like two weeks ago or something. And our mailbox came crashing down. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be unscrewing all of this. That we that held up our mailbox for a really long time. Like 10 years or something. We're going to be picking it out and then tomorrow I'm gonna be actually putting it in. It's the first project that took more than one day that I remember. So this project is gonna be very simple. We have to take this off, pick one from a store. Surprise surprise it's gonna be very soon. And then we have to put this back on and plow it and then we have to push it in hard. And this mailbox is heavy, especially the chick didn't open it for a really long time, so there must be a lot of mail. So I'm gonna have to ask my siblings to help. So now, after I eat, which won't be in the video, we'll go to the store. We'll go to the store and pick out the best holder. Surprise, surprise, it's the first time we're, we're actually picking it in the store with you on the channel. I'll probably try to do that more with the projects I make. The next segment is going to be the store, the funnest part, the picking. Unfortunately, for me, it will take some more time than in the video. So, see you in a clap. Oops. Now I'm here. This is exactly what we're looking for. This is the coast. It's easy spike. Just spike it in the ground. And then you put the mailbox in here. Well, I think what you I think what you heard, I said it correctly, but I don't think you understand. So we take a sledgehammer and nail it in the ground. So this is the ground. So say this is the ground, it will be all the way in here. And then here we put the, the wooden beam that holds the mailbox up here somewhere. The four by four post. But unfortunately I can't reach all the way up there. So I'll have to simulate it by stepping in my tippy toes. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. So I'm gonna see you tomorrow and storm the, the thing. It's gonna be a lot of fun on this vacation. See you tomorrow. So welcome back. I now it's actually two days later because yesterday we didn't have time. We were relaxing at the beach. So this is we I showed you now we got it here. This is our mailbox post anchor. We gotta use our tools to drive it into the ground. So, before we can put anything in, we have to remove the old, rusted one of our 916 French. As you know, before the video, we tested it. You know, how do I test it? So, just see if it fits. The gloves are adult size because there are not that many kids in hands and hands. It's a little hard to do it with gloves, and sometimes <laughs> some parts slip off. Now it's easier by hand, I think. Yeah. So, because I'm a little hands man and I don't want to be jealous, I mean, I don't want my siblings to be jealous. I'm gonna let them try with it. So I'm just gonna help them a little bit. But um, how about I hold this and Hannah twist that? Okay, but I'll help you, Hannah. So because this one was a lot more rusty than this one, and it's not really going. 
don't want it to damage our tools. And we don't want it to take a long time. We are gonna take, we're gonna get some WD-40. We already have it, but we're gonna use some WD-40. So now I'm gonna be setting you the threads. Before you do it, you shake it. And remember where you're doing it. And gently, not too much. Missed. First time using it actually. I saw my dad doing it, but I never did it on my own yet. Oh, this one. Now my scissors is gonna help me, but before that I just want to a little bit. So it's not too hard. Can I try? Okay, now I'm gonna test or Hannah if it works. Okay, I think we need a little more. Let's see if that was enough. Okay, now I got it to go. Now Hannah, you can help. And how about you? Twist. No, David. Turn. Hannah didn't have, couldn't do it on her turn. Hannah did to have her turn go a little bit for you. Okay, just um, this one I have to hold. I can hold it. Hannah, don't turn it back. Take it off and then you do it again. Even if you wanna. You bring it on one side then. It's not fitting in. It will. And I think it's easier to do it by hand now. Now that we move the nuts, we can take out the bolt, the bolts, and these nuts, so we can access. We can just take this off. Now I can remove the old rusty piece, and because it was a box, it's like a box. It's trapping anything that got inside the wind. We kept it in there. And some of the rust is on the wood, which is quite which is interesting, but I never thought that would ever happen. You see, this is all rusted out, and that is only one of the two reasons why it fell. The other reason, there was a hurricane that came by recently, and it just couldn't hold that any further. It held for a while, even if it was rusty. Because I saw it was rusty for like two or three years now. But the hurricane forced it to tumble. This is galvanized, which means it should not rust through for many, many years. Because unless this gets scratched, all the galvanized, it's not gonna start rusting. So now we're gonna I'm gonna ask my siblings to help here with the removing the mailbox. So I'm gonna rest this over here. There's the post thinker. Let's just go and almost follow. The post thinker's on there. Now that we move their mailbox out of the way, now we can install our post anchor. And for that, we're also going to need a sledgehammer. So this area has a lot we need to dig a hole through. In case the video is not so, I'll just give you a disc in case. This is heavy. Probably iron and steel. Well, I, I know it's metal. Thank you. 
Bold eagle. Oh, let's go again. That's what they hunt. They circle. And then they get tighter and tighter. I think the bold eagles are learning at work, and also a lot of work. And as being a patriotic American, I love seeing bold eagles, especially too, more. But as all Andamans, we have to get back to work sometime. Now that we cut through the speak, spike, we can start installing the post eagle. Oops. Do you, do you want to know why we're doing it in the front? Because uh, you, the mail comes here. It's not just to be pretty, it's a it's mailbox. So we need to use a sledgehammer, but we can't see why on the metal, it's just going to break. Did you see that? That's why we have to do it right here. It's right here. I mean, such hammers, you're meant to sledge. You're not meant to. You're meant to. But be careful, you don't want to hit like this. That would be bad for my fingers. Oh, I thought the sledgehammer would be much heavier. But in, but in videos, I saw them much bigger and much heavier. It's a little confused. You see, it. It forced the wood to be tighter up here in the middle of the place. It's a little hard to aim for when you're swinging it. We're almost half the, we're around halfway there. Soon we're gonna make it vertical, like the wooden beam. So now we can put it vertical. So it helps us a lot. First reason why it can help us is because now it's probably not gonna fall. Second, the force is coming straight down. Some of it will, when it was horizontal, it comes down here and pretty much do nothing. And some of it just cause the wood to bend which is where most of the energy came in. Well, we have to do this for a while. We're just gonna fall this. We have to wait for some time before this comes down now. I just don't wanna do it too hard. I could do it harder, but I don't want it to snow come here and destroy it. Because I haven't done this for a long time, 
so I'm not going to eat it. But I'm going to learn. So, thank you to Daddy for teaching me all this. Especially with this generation, the 21st generation. A lot of kids don't, don't know handyman skills. Fortunately, my dad is telling, telling me that, and I'm curious enough to learn. But honestly, I'd rather be doing handyman skills than sitting on a tablet all day because first, unless you're watching educational stuff, which most kids aren't in my age, besides me, don't aren't watching educational. So honestly, I would much rather be doing handyman work all day than being on my tablet all day. Or making very hilarious cat videos. a big rock. Wow, well, I guess we hit a rock. So it's pretty obvious we hit a big rock. So we're gonna take this out and then we're gonna put this giant drill. That actually helped me do it because it's, it's meant to stay in there which means it's hard to pull out. So my dad already told me how to do this. So we're gonna take this 36 inch drill bit and we're gonna try to dig it through the rock. I don't care if we're not to press it on now. That would be bad. It's a little heavy. Safety first, even if they get foggy, we need the glasses or goggles. The rock is still there, we just got a hole in there, so that means we can put it in. And it's, good. And it's also good that there's some rock because that will hold this in place. One day anchor post. Now we finished doing, we will continue our post installation. So we just finished drilling the hole. This is flash drying concrete so it doesn't rust up again. So we need to put some concrete to make sure the oxygen, the dirt, and the water doesn't get in. I'm gonna add some concrete and my brother, the younger handyman is gonna add some water. So I'm gonna add some concrete and my brother is gonna add some water. And then we're gonna mix it. Oh, not a one, not a one. Oh, that's, that's not, that's not enough though. Save it. So we need to add a little more content. Yeah. I'm gonna 
turn. Oh, how about we do it together? I do. We're not patting it up and down. We're mixing. Look, I just tore the 4x4. Four four. It's not like I wanted to do it on purpose. It happened. Yeah, look, you see this thing? That is not kind. Look, it's like... It's even a dick. David, I'm gonna hit your... Look, this edge, which it looks like it was... Like it was fire, but not burned yet. Because this it isn't good yet, but it's probably not fire. Yeah, and that's a good one. Yeah, my brother's a good one too. But... Understand you have to hold it. I want you want to be almost broke up this So what, so David? It doesn't really matter. Yeah. It sounds like I look at a lumberjack very far away. Well, it's kind of like I am a lumberjack, but it sounds like you can hear like a mile away or something. Which I bet you can if you're a mile away. If you were a mile away. But I bet you're not a mile away. I bet you're much further. Now we're adding more concrete and then water. And I'm gonna deal with my brother this time. Yeah. David. Tear the hole. More. Because I can't look for me up, I'll stay on the top floor, okay? No. Oh, oh no. Oh, I think that's about enough. Oh no, that's not enough. That's okay. I'm going to add the water. <laughs> and a little bit on this side. Moving. Oh, uh, oh and how about we not change a little yeah. side? Yes, that's what I've been. That's what I've been. That's what I was gonna do in the first place. Before I have more concrete, I wanna tamp down concrete to make sure it sets hard. Wait. Huh? No, I'm sorry, David. We'll throw it away. Don't worry. Little away, little. And besides, those one against the law, so. I'm on the front. I mean, I can still do. I still just a little too soon. Oh, 
hot for her. Yeah, and for me. Oh, and how about I just Here, how about you leave it there and I'll collect some? Yeah, you just pull some in the stick. So oh, now let's change the side, okay? Oh, I'm going to Oh, now I'm going to give you some time just to mix it. I'm just going to put some concrete in. I just added some more concrete. Now I'm going to tamp it down. Take some over there. Take some over there. Just mix it. Probably cause it to go this way. No, if if that no, you then I'll just fall down that way. So remember, we're taking this one bit out. I'm just using it to hammer. So now we're gonna let it start setting for for a minutes. Notice what I'm trying to say: not fully dry, just set for a couple minutes or so before adding the next layer. Layer. I want to, to try to make it above this. Area like like until it cures, so it's stable because because of global warming. There's more hurricanes. I'm just gonna make this more unstable. So you want to try to make this resilient as possible against hurricanes. And remember, if I'm making it above ground, it's keeping moisture away, which is the enemy of steel. Notice how I'm saying not stainless steel. It is steel with galvanized plate. I got that there's galvanized plate. Otherwise, the whole thing would get ruined. The one that was old. So we got the wooden beam off camera out. So now we're going to be doing the wooden ramp. So what I want to do with the concrete. Sorry for when I said wooden ramp. It's concrete. It's not exactly a ramp. I want to do this. So the water will come down. So I want to do it literally like 360 degrees. The water here, 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 over here. Even here, it's going down. So, and this is going to help us with the incline. So we're going to do basically like this. It's going to help make the incline. So we're going to pour in the top. So I'm going to use a jug. I a jug with spine as long as you can scoop. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to try to scoop. Right here. Remember, I'm going to give it some time before I make the ramp. I don't want to because when it's... I want to give it a little bit of set. So what I'm trying to say here is what it's wet when I just got it. I, I want to give it some time before I actually shape it into the ramp. Otherwise, all the water is going to just come down the ramp. Water that I've used my metal package to make an incline. I don't want to add any more water that I need, otherwise, it's going to be hard to make the incline. So I'm careful in adding. I'm gonna add some more concrete. So I just finished making my wooden incline. The next step was installing the post. To be exact, putting the mailbox in here. As you can see, there's an incline everywhere, so the so the water comes off the post and comes around here. And you know, and that's why we had some concrete below there, so it doesn't seep through the dirt under there, and then get the under part wet. And then the top just breaks off. I think that's what happened with the old one. So now this is our a good upgrade. This is gonna last for much more 
this lasts us for about 10 years, and that, but this is going to last for 30 or 40, if not 50. Meanwhile, while this is setting, my dad's going to help me put the mailbox in there. Because my siblings are at home right now, I'm going to need daddy's help. Remember, I'm also going to do it, because that would be too lazy. Hey, daddy. Now we need to use some screws to secure it. The ones we're using are three inch galvanized screws that are right in here. We're also going to be using a screwdriver, obviously. Well, Drew. Damn, I can probably tell you how glitch noise. Just put my screw in, and now I'm going to drive the screw in very, very slowly. So now we need to finish the concrete ramp. So now we just finished screwing the screws. We are going to do the concrete ramp. So, because when the concrete dries, it wants to fall because of gravity. So we have to add more and more and more. So that means we're going to add another layer of concrete to make the ramp again. Now we got our concrete mix. We're going to put, we're going to put some on top and then we're going to add some water again. Now we're going to add the water to the concrete to fix it. And now we're going to do the same thing as last time and add some gravity hoops. It's hard to do to uh, this bad part, unfortunately. Now that the concrete is what I'm going to make the ramps. I really want a good shape because when it dries, it's hard as as rock. Because I don't, because it some of it is rock. It's a concrete mix, so when it hardens, you can't remove a single milliliter. That's why I want it working very nice right now. Because when it dries, we can't change. We can only add. we did add, remember? We added so many times. We had some low like this. We had some more we had just before that little ramp. Now we made the bigger ramp. And we're going to set for 15 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna put on final water layer and then we're gonna let it completely dry for as long as it needs to but it's probably gonna take much it's gonna be probably some Sometimes 20 to 40 minutes when the last layer is going to completely dry. And then I'll show you the final product. 
So now I have put our final layer of concrete. I'm gonna let it set overnight. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I wanted to do more, but this is our last layer. We don't want to use too much concrete or too much money. But we still have one more layer to go. Fortunately, but we don't like dark things, especially when the hands and hands. We don't like when things aren't strong enough to last. So that's why we're adding one more layer. But and it's really getting in the way so we do this. We still need a little bit of it. Not a last layer. Not the last layer. That doesn't mean we can't add more. But it's still the last layer though. I don't want to add too much, but not too little either. And I don't want to get much on the wheel. The wheels meant now we're putting the final touches in the entire ramp. Water. I guess we it's either sliding down because there's some water or we overwatered it. I'm not sure. It's sliding down gravity. But I'm not sure if it's I'm still not sure. Because we put too much water, that's supposed to slide down too much. Or it could be just, or it may be just normal, and we had to do it a lot of times. So I don't know. So now it's the end of the part, but don't believe yet. This is one of the most fun but yet challenging parts of my channel yet. I think the hardest videos in my channel yet are either the car brakes video or this one right now. And thanks for Daddy for teaching me all of this because all I knew about this was just all I knew about the entire project is that there's like a metal thing and I never use one of those big drills. The only place where I saw them is in movies or in construction sites and I never I actually got a handle one or see one this close and I never saw a natural swatch hammer but I saw one but I never actually got a use it. I really enjoyed this. I got to use a big drill. I got to do some work working, which I rarely do. And I got to use a sledgehammer. And now I finished, fixed this mailbox, which I almost never get to do because mailboxes are now sturdier and sturdier. And now even sturdier. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you don't miss future videos. And bye!